Hello everybody, welcome to art. Today we are going to be making a really cool picture. We're gonna be making a jellyfish. So my little jellyfish, he's really easy and I thought it would be something fun to do because I know we're all starting to think about the weather getting warmer and the beach and things like that. So I thought why not make a really pretty ocean scene. So today you're going to need a magical, amazing sheet of paper. And that sheet of paper, the thicker the paper is, the better, okay? Um, and you're also gonna need either a white crayon or you can also use an oil pastel, whichever you have on hand was great. And then you're also going to need some watercolors. And if you have watercolors on hand, great. If not, you might wanna wait for this project because it could be a little bit more uh, difficult without it. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a white oil pastel today. And again, you can use crayons too. White crayons work perfect. So I've also got my water cup and a paintbrush. And it's not a fancy paintbrush. I've also got some salt, because today we're gonna try and do that cool salt technique we've done before with watercolor. So if you look on this paper, you can see all over here and over here where that salt really did a cool starbursty effect, okay? So that's what we're gonna use that for. It's gonna make it look like the water is kinda doing its magical water thing. Um, you're also, if you would like to, you could use a sponge, and I'm gonna use that to dab my paintbrush off when it's um, too wet or I need to just dry it off just a little bit. So I'm gonna use a sponge or you could use a paper towel as well. And then you're gonna need a pencil and that is it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now notice my paper is portrait. It's vertical up and down. It's not horizontal and landscape, it's portrait. So the first thing we're gonna do is start drawing our little jellyfish friend. Now when we are doing our jellyfish paper, I want you to notice my warm colors are inside on the jellyfish. My cool colors are on the water part. So do I have any cool colors inside my jellyfish? Nope. Do I have any warm colors in the water? No. So just make sure we remember that and I'm gonna help you figure out how to make it look all like it's the colors are blending together, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start drawing our jellyfish. And we're gonna draw, remember when we draw, we are gonna hold our pencil very loosely in our hand, cause we don't, if we hold it real tight and we press down when we're writing, then it's gonna be really hard to erase those lines. So we want to draw it light until it's right, if you remember that. All right, so the first shape we're gonna make is an oval shape. Now remember, I'm drawing very lightly, and I'm gonna lightly draw my oval a pretty good size because I don't want a teeny tiny jellyfish. I wanna make sure that we see him really, really well, or her, I guess it could be a her. All right, so I think I like, maybe I wanna make my jellyfish even a little bit bigger because I really think a big old jellyfish would be super fun. There we go, that's why we draw those light lines. So now I can just erase those lines I don't like. Really easy, you can't even see them anymore. Because if I drew them real dark, I'd still see them even if I erased them sometimes, okay? All right, so you shouldn't see it very dark because I drew it so lightly, so you should see my oval shape. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make like a half circle at the very top. So I'm gonna go from one end, bloop, to the other, just like that. Now we're gonna add some, a, um, a cloud line. So if you remember, it's that scoopy line. So we're gonna do, I don't know, maybe four or five scoops. And I'm gonna go from one end. Now notice I'm up toward the bottom of the jellyfish. I'm not in the middle, I'm near the bottom. And I'm gonna go scoop, 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 scoop. You could do four, you could do five, you could do three, however many you like on there. So I've got my scoops on there. 
Now I'm gonna add some curvy lines. I'm gonna go from my half circle and I'm gonna curve it. So notice this line is curved. I'm going to mimic or mirror that curve line from the half circle to the point of my scoop, just like that. And now I'm gonna do this one, but I, see my curve is going this way this time. So I'm gonna do it from the curve, my half circle, down to the point of my first scoop. And this one, you could make it a little bit curved, you could make it straight, it's up to you because it's kind of in the middle. I'm gonna curve mine just a little bit because it is a jellyfish, so he's kind of all over the place. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some cool details up here. I'm gonna give him some little oval shapes because I think it'll look really good. Now, one of the reasons we're drawing lightly is because we are going to go over these pencil lines with our crayon or oil pastel that is white. So if you draw with um, a dark pencil line, that white color is probably gonna be very hard to cover up all those pencil lines, especially when they're super dark. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some details add a few little polka dots and you can just make a little dot because remember you're gonna go over it with your oil pastel or crayon so I like four or five and because it's a jellyfish it doesn't have to be perfect all right I think I like those and now I'm gonna use my eraser I'm gonna erase some of this line that we put remember I drew lightly so it should come off real easily so I erased from about here to here I erased mostly the bottom of it. Now I'm going to add the tentacles. Tentacles make me want to do this with my fingers. And so I'm going to go from the cloud line, the scoopy line, and I'm gonna make a long curvy line. And I'm gonna make it like a snake and come all the way back up to my scoopy line. So you're gonna do as many of those as you want some of them can be short, some of them can be super short, some of them can be medium, some of them can be long like this guy, maybe it's a really thick one, a really skinny one, and another really long one, maybe it goes behind another one like this. And I'm always going back up to my cloud line, okay? All right, I think I really like that. So my jellyfish, he's all wiggly down here now, which is good. So now I'm gonna add about half of a jellyfish right here. He's gonna be a little guy going off the page. So I'm gonna make half of him, which means I'm gonna need half of my oval. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start from about right here and I'm gonna make my oval shape and it's gonna go off the page like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so now I'm gonna add, remember I'm only doing this much, so I'm gonna add my little half circle line. Goes from about here, off the page. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna add my scoopy line. And my scoopy cloud line, I'm gonna go from the edge of the jellyfish, scoop, scoop, scoop off the page. Now I'm gonna add my details that I had at the top, which was that little oval shape right here. And then I'm gonna take my half circle and I'm gonna go from the half circle and make that curve line that comes down to the scoopy point right here. So I'm gonna lightly Draw my curvy line that curves just like the outside of my oval. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one more because I have another point showing and I'm gonna go back up to the half circle. Now I'm gonna get rid of some of this line on the bottom again, just like this. My eraser, erased real easy, see it? And I'm going to add my wiggly tentacles. And they're gonna go from the scoopy line down, maybe even off the page. And some of them, they're gonna be all different shapes and sizes. 
Maybe I have one sticking out over here. This guy's gonna be real short. And that one's gonna wiggle right off the page. And oh, I gotta remember to add my details, my little polka dots on my jellyfish. And this one, you can't see them all, that's okay. All right, so I think I really like the way that my paper looks, the way my jellyfish look. So you make sure that you like yours too. This would be a great time to pause the video and make sure you like all of your lines just the way they are. All righty, so I hope that you made sure you like all of your lines. The next part we're gonna do is we're gonna take our oil pastel that is white or crayon, and we're going to trace all of the pencil lines with our white oil pastel or crayon. So I'm gonna start doing that and make sure you get them all, okay? It's very important that we get all of the lines. So even those little polka dots, we're gonna remember to get those. Now I think my jellyfish are gonna need a name. And remember there's two of them, so maybe mine, I think they're gonna be sisters. Yours could be best friends or brothers or I don't know. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna name mine after one of my favorite TV shows and they aren't sisters, but they're friends. I think it's gonna be Lucy and Ethel. I think this should be Lucy and this should be Ethel. And then I'm going to do my tentacles. Now, I really hope you've never gotten stung by a jellyfish because it hurts. It does not feel like a good time. Alrighty, going back up, tracing all of my pencil lines really nicely. Here we go. Almost got number Miss Lucy done. And then I'm gonna move on to Ethel. And Ethel is a little smaller. Make sure I get all the lines on Miss Ethel. If y'all know anybody named Lucy and Ethel, you should tell them that we drew them as jellyfish today. Ha ha. Get my polka dots really well. And then the last thing I've got to do is my tentacles. Take your time, don't rush. Make sure that you are making a masterpiece, that you are being an amazing artiste that I already know you are. If you make a mistake, turn it into a masterpiece. Okay, so now I've traced all of my lines. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some fun details in the background. So maybe I'm gonna add a swirl you probably can't see that because it's white. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna add some little details in the corner. And I'm gonna do some over here. And this is where it's really fun to just play with it. And I'm gonna do a super cool swirl right here maybe one right here. You don't have to add a ton, but a few of them are really fun to have. Maybe I'll add one more little guy right here. Okay, so I think I am finished with my oil pastel work or my crayon work. Now it's going to get to painting. Now when you are painting, make sure you get out a messy mat, all right? Because you don't want to get paint all over the place. Even if it is watercolor, we still don't want to make a mess. I'm gonna put my salt right here. You could put your salt in a little cup if that helps you out, okay? But don't make a mess. Alrighty, so my jellyfish are ready. I'm gonna get my paintbrush. And now remember when I have my paintbrush, she is like a ballerina. She always dances on her tippy toes. She never scoots around on her bottom and does that squeaky, squeaky because nobody, uh-uh, nobody wants to go to the booty scootin' ballet. We don't wanna see ballerinas scooting around on their bottom, it's not cute. All right, so make sure you're always painting on your tippy toes, okay? So my ballerina, she is going to dip her toes in the bath 
and she is going to pick a color. I think we're gonna start with our jellyfish. So we're going to do warm colors inside the jellyfish and cool colors for the water, okay? So I'm gonna start with some yellow. The reason I'm starting with yellow is because it's a very light color, and if I go back and forth too much, I might muddy up that yellow and it won't be a very pretty yellow anymore. So I'm gonna paint some yellow inside my jellyfish. Ooh, I like it. I'm gonna do just a little yellow over here, and remember, when you are painting, to have plenty of water in your watercolor, okay? So I'm gonna add a little more yellow over here, a little more yellow over here. Now I think I'm ready for another color. I'm gonna dip my ballerina's toes in the bath. I'm gonna clean her off and wake up another color. Remember, my watercolors, we have to add lots of water because they're water colors. So when you're painting with your watercolors and you find a really good wet spot like this, you're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of salt. Not a ton, see I just sprinkled a teeny tiny bit. And I'm gonna blend my colors together. And I got a little bit of salt off my finger. I'm gonna add a little more orange over here touch of salt just a little bit just where it's really wet and you can see it kind of shiny alrighty I think I'm gonna add some more orange maybe even some of the tentacles over here some of the top of it and now I'm gonna start with some red I'm gonna wake up that red right there and it's gonna be really pretty mixing it all together Make sure you're not scooting around on your bottom. Alrighty, I'm gonna add. Now, if you see that, you notice my um, watercolor is not sticking to the oil pastel or crayon. And I've got a white, wet spot right here. This is, we've done this before in class and it always turns out so pretty. It's called Wax Resist because the wax is resisting or pushing away the water. So that is the cool thing about science, sciencey things going on today. All right, I'm gonna make sure I've got plenty of red going on right here. Ooh, when I mix that red in with my yellow, I get a pretty orange. I'm actually gonna go back very carefully with my yellow and just blend it in. I actually want to add a little more orange to this guy right here. And don't forget to add your salt when you've got a good wet spot. I mean, very careful with these tentacles because they're kind of thin, okay? Oh, look at that. I think I need more salt. A little bit more. I'm gonna add a whole lot of salt when we do the water part. So I think that's where it looks the best is when you get that watery look going on right there. All right, I think Lucy looks pretty good. So now I am going to add my really pretty colors that are gonna be those now remember, these are warm colors because they remind us of the sun. They're red, yellow, and orange. And these are gonna be cool colors. So we're gonna wake up our blue. Ooh, that's such a pretty blue. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I'm gonna add a lot of water because I want this to be, um, this is where my colors are gonna mix is when they're really watery. Ooh, I'm painting over my design right here and you can really see it. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and add a lot more blue going on here. Go right up to my jellyfish leg. Now remember, we don't wanna go over it. We have to be very careful even though we have that wax going on. So I'm gonna wake up my purple. I'm gonna mix my purple on in there. Get that fun blue and purple mixing together, which I love. I'm 
gonna go right up to my jellyfish again and be very careful. Ooh, I like that. I could add some salt right here. Okay, and remember, you don't have to rush. So take your time, make sure that you are creating your masterpiece in a very, it, with some really good craftsmanship. That's where we use that word when we're taking our time and doing a great job with our art. We are using good craftsmanship. Add a little bit more purple, then I'm gonna think I'm gonna switch to green. Ooh, that's a really good wet spot too. And if it helps, you could even have someone be your salt sprinkler. All right, I'm gonna wake up this really pretty green right here. Make sure I got a lot of water in there. I'm gonna do my green over here because I really like that. That's pretty. And that green is blending with the purple, which is very nice. And I don't want a ton of green. I think I just want a little bit more. So I'm gonna mix some more blue in there. Oh, look at that. All right, now I'm gonna add a bunch of salt right here. Well, not a bunch, but just a little bit. Now remember, you're gonna need a messy mat because I'm getting it on the table, but it comes off my table real easily. I'm gonna add some more blue. I'm gonna be very careful when I go in between the legs of the tentacles. You might not have to worry about that, but if you do, just be very careful, okay? A little bit more salt, just on those real wet spots that we like, okay? All right, I think I'm gonna add some more blue. And you can just keep on going until your paper is fully covered. We want to make sure that all of the spots on our paper are covered. We don't want any white spots unless they are oil pastels or white crayon, okay? Because that is gonna make it beautiful. And the more water you add, the better your watercolors are going to work. Add just a touch of salt where I see my little wet spots. And I think I wanna add some more purple. You know, Miss Douglas, purple isn't in the water. No, it's not, but it's pretty. <laughs> All right, we are almost there. I'm gonna add a touch more green, just a little bit. So I can blend it in with my blue. I really like that color when they blend together. And each time I need to change my colors, I'm making sure that my ballerina takes a bath and cleans those colors off of her feet to get some new ones. I really love watching my white oil pastel or crayon poke through, which is pretty. Ooh, that's a really good wet spot right there. All right, so you can just keep going. As you can see, we are really getting close. I think you guys are gonna make some really beautiful jellyfish. I really, really, really want to see what your jellyfish look like. <clears throat> so please make sure to send your pictures in to Mr. Itzik, okay? Because we're gonna make a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to make a slideshow each week of the things that you guys have been doing and I would love to see your art in the slideshow. And I really miss seeing you guys' art. It's one of those things that makes me sad about not seeing y'all. All right, don't forget to add your salt where you have those wet spots. And I think my jellyfish, Miss Lucy and Miss Ethel are just about ready. I might go back in and see if I've got any spots that I missed, but, I'm really loving my jellyfish. And remember, that salt, it has to dry so your salt can start doing this effect, okay? So I can't wait to see your jellyfish and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, bye guys.